Cotto versus Trout, which could be the retirement of Miguel Cotto and the rising of Austin Trout, or it could be the setup for the biggest fight next to Mayweather and Pacquiao, which would be Cotto versus Canelo pay-per-view next year. You know, um, there's tons of people interested in this fight, and it's generating a lot of buzz late because of the Showtime's um, extreme coverage of this fight. People are learning more about Austin Trout and what he, who he is and what he brings to the table when it comes to this fight. And people are very happy. You know, they're satisfied. For the first time in a long time, Miguel Cotto is given a younger fighter, a young up-and-coming fighter, a shot at the title. And this is what's needed to be done in the sport of boxing at the weight class. <coughs> Miguel Cotto came to 154, and he really hadn't fought any of the <coughs> 154 champions. It was mostly guys that were coming up, so the guys at 154 were really starting to rise on him because he's just making money at their division without fighting him. And now he's fighting one of the young and upcoming fighters, and it needs to happen at every sport, um, in every weight class, basically. Manny Pacquiao did it when he fought Tim Bradley. Uh, he gave Tim Bradley a shot, a young undefeated fighter coming up. And um, Mayweather gave Victor Ortiz his shot. After he beat Birdo and won the title, and gave him a shot, and that's you know what they knock these big fighters and say they, they don't give them shots, but they actually did. Now assessing this fight, and this is very early for me. I really don't do videos this early. Um, I just see the fight's not going to change from now until the weigh-in and things of that nature. I really see Trout giving Cotto a lot of problems, like using the ring. But once they see, once he slows down and stops using the ring, he he makes a lot of mistakes. Austin Trout does that could get him in trouble. And the, the mistakes he makes is he drops his hands a lot when he's uh, engaging punches. He don't have his arms back in the right position to defend against certain counter shots from Miguel Cotto. Now, Miguel Cotto don't counter that much, but if he sees an opening, he knows how to throw a combination where he can land a, a counter shot directly on the button if, um, if you fall asleep on him. And that's what he could take advantage of. His left hook would be prominent in this fight because Trout keeps his right hand very low. And then he has a time, a tendency to just really go to sleep, you know. And against Miguel Cotto, who's going to be very physical, he cannot afford to get tired. And looks like he fatigued in his last couple of fights. Overall, I see Miguel Cotto winning a split decision over uh, Austin Trout. And I just think that Miguel Cotto will have enough stamina in the in the tank. To, to more move forward with this fight. Now, in order for Trout to be successful, what he needs to do is use his jab. Miguel Pro Cotto has problems getting by the jab, figuring that he's the shorter guy. But if you keep a jab in his face, it makes it a lot difficult for him to get around to you and land those body shots. And don't square up. If you square up, Miguel Cotto will make you pay with a left hook to the body. You know, that punch didn't disappear against the Mayweather fight. He kind of took it, Mayweather took it away from him. Austin Trout is going to try to use a lot of movement to take, it, to take it away from Miguel Cotto. Now, what Cotto needs to do to be successful is what I was basically thinking he's going to do anyway. And that is cutting the ring off of Austin Trout early, forcing Austin Trout to fight when he don't want to fight. And when he stays in front of you, make him pay for staying in front of you. Go to the body and go up top to the head with the left hooks. The left hooks will be prominent in this fight. Because Austin Trout makes mistakes. And 
drops his right hand when he pulls back. And that's how I see the fights going. Y'all let me know what y'all think.